the gun forest is a beautiful place full of green, the air and the environment are sparkling clean. A little long air hair lives there, his name is Bernie. He has a vegetable pet of his own, which he cares for tenderly. He wants to grow the tastiest vegetables in the whole forest. It does the yellowing team. When long time comes, he pulls out a fresh carrot and feast on it, enjoying its wonderful taste. But everything changed one night when Puss was in bed fast asleep. The next morning when it was time to treat himself to a sweet carrot, Puss noticed something disgraceful. Someone with very bad manners sat thrown a candy wrappers right into his vegetable patch. This was even more astounded when he saw that there were a hundred more wrappers lying all around. After a moment's thought, he decided to follow the garbage train, thought it would lead him straight. The train led him to a big tree with a huge pile of wrappers towering below it. Hey, who is throwing around the garbage? So seamlessly, who exclaimed in the support man. The hare looked up and saw the answer just above his head. On the branch of the big tree sat an ill-mattered monkey. The monkey was probably cranky and throwing the wrappers on the ground without a care. And still, at the bricks. Hey you! Why are you returning with our forest? Stop it right away. Carry Puss indignantly at the monkey. Having been discovered, the monkey took fight. He turned trail and ran as fast as he could, forgetting all about the candy. The monkey jumped so skillfully among the trees the hare could not catch up. However, being quite frightened, the monkey lost control after a while. And sent a head over hills down toward the ground. Until he got caught in the tangle of vines and branches, he tried to free himself, but there was no one around to give him a hand. The monkey lost all hope when he suddenly Puss appeared from behind the trees. He approached and asked, Hey monkey, why do you have such bad manners? Why do you think we can throw guys all around this way? The monkey had nothing to say, so he simply looked away and said, Okay, don't worry, say Puss. Relenting, I'll set you free. Everything waits to be all right. She helped the monkey get down to the ground and asked, Now, will you be so kind as to clean up after yourself? Oh, how embarrassed the monkey felt. He didn't utter a, a word and got down to work. He cleaned everything up to the last piece until the boys looked the same as before. And Puss could again enjoy his cares in a vegetable fence. No sight of non-wind-battered monkey. <laughs>